But before we go into the event, we have the honor of getting a particular message from His Excellency, the Ambassador of uh, India to Romania, um, Moldova and Albania. So please allow me to read, uh, read this message because His Excellency is with us in heart and spirit, but could not uh, join the event uh, online as he has so many uh, diverse and demanding duties. So uh, from uh, the, the Office of His Excellencies. Dear professors, esteemed guests and students, I am pleased to be invited to this open lecture. This is a great initiative for speakers to share their vast knowledge and the students to learn from them. I therefore commend the efforts of Dr. Radler and other professors, Professor Staitan. There couldn't have been a better way to start the new year. On value education, I would like to emphasize that it teaches us kindness, truth, and sharing. It's about understanding right and wrong and how to behave in different situations to make ourselves and others happy. Some of the key aspects that emphasize the importance of value education can be summarized as follows. It helps transform students into progressive thinkers to discover the real purpose of their lives. Secondly, it helps build character along with physical and mental ability enhancements. Thirdly, it helps create a positive perception of individuals towards different aspects of life. We can say that it changes the way individuals think. And lastly, uh, with value education, individuals are always in a positive state of mind. However, value education's ultimate goal is not to make individuals aware of the benefits and importance of value education in life, but to make them implement it in their daily lives. Unfortunately, nowadays, we live in a difficult, unstable environment that makes it challenging for individuals to grow and protect their values. I will address some aspects in need of improvement. We know that human values are very important to improve the life of all. One who understands their values can check and control the various choices made in their life. Unfortunately, in the fight for industrialization, competition and survival, we have been complacent about human values. With the rise of higher education technology, a higher lifestyle, the standard of living can certainly rise and become materially prosperous, but due to selfishness, we face many challenges. Family values are disintegrating in today's individualistic society, due to which loneliness, depression, disorientation are increasing among the youth. It is often that due to a lack of human values, juveniles are becoming criminals. Due to a lack of human ethics and values, the family disorder has led them astray. They become drug addicts or consume alcohol, gamble and indulge in antisocial activities. Ethics deals with morality and morality refers to personal or cultural value, code of conduct or social values. Higher education makes the quality of lead leadership in students. Still, in the present context, ethics and moral values adapted in universities heavily affect the future leaders as higher education is becoming one-sided and insensitive by neglecting human life values, moral traditions, and ideas. In the, in the absence of values and motivational standards, directionless students are moving towards violent, cruel, and inhuman attitudes. New solutions are mandatory to be taken into consideration in order to help the new generation grow harmoniously, living by ethics and values deeply rooted within themselves, guiding them in their every action. 
To achieve this, it is necessary to know the objectives of implementing value education in the first place. Value education aims to create awareness among individuals about values, their importance and their benefits, so they can be adopted widely in the society. It makes individuals aware of their rights provided by the Constitution and the various fundamental human rights so that nobody can take undue advantage of them. We can build a sustainable future for ourselves and future generations by switching to swing sustainable options with environmental education being a part of value education. An important objective of value education is to build and make citizens responsible and build a better world for living. It is focused on bringing social harmony. There is a lot of personal growth that a person undergoes when introduced to value education. In the rapidly changing global environment, the importance of human value-based education has increased a lot more than before. Inculcation of human values in education is necessary for peace, prosperity, and development in the world. India is committed to including humanistic values in the new national education policy so that future India can move ahead to fulfill the goals of the concept of a happy, prosperous, and welfare life for mankind and peace, love, and brotherhood in the whole world. Human values are eternal and timeless truths. It is relevant not only in India, but in every region of the world. Thank you all once more for your involvement. I wish you successful and enjoyable deliberations. Rahul Srivastava. And uh, just a very brief comment before we hand over the floor to our invited and distinguished guest, Dr. Rukmini. Uh, this uh, lecture and debate is recorded with the support of uh, Romanian blogger Olivian Breda, whom we thank warmly. Uh, and later, once it will be possible, uh, we hope it will be posted on his channel on YouTube. So uh, your presence also means acceptance of the recording and of the recording being available to whoever wishes to uh, understand our ideas and uh, hear our points of view. So thank you very much. The floor is yours. <laughs>